Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got our shirts available to everybody on number 6 cheesecom Go on there and snag one. Today, a fast food review here on number six with cheese, the hot honey chicken sandwich. Uh, Shake Shack put out a little trio of items with this hot honey. We're gonna get the sandwich version. So we're headed up to Wrigleyville's location uh, to snag, snag that now. So come along as it begins to rain here in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Food review loving internet. Two of the hot honey chicken sandwiches from Shake Shack acquired jump cut. All right, let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, open the box up. What do we got? Nice little uh, wrapper they got you so you can hold it nice and tight. Weird bun. Open her up. That's a uh, honey glazed crispy chicken breast with mango, or no, I'm sorry, with habanero mayo sauce and shredded lettuce. A toasted potato bun. And then, real quick on the big camera, because we got it. There it is, and now it's going in my body. Hot honey chicken sandwich, seven seventy nine. Shake Shack. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, they did put a lot of the sauce. Give them that. It's a pretty ch tasty chicken sandwich, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm just a little chicken sandwich spoiled right now. With all the hand breaded ones, this is good flavor. Yeah, not getting a ton of heat. No, not a ton. I mean, it's there, but. If you're, like we say all the time, like if you're somebody who consistently eats hot sauce and spicy food, it's probably not going to do a ton for you. Yeah. And even I think I've advanced my tongue a little bit on yours. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even getting it there. Mm. I am. But I'm getting a uh, zero heat. <laughs> Your tongue stuffed my tongue into a locker. Mm hmm. I got a bully tongue and a bully personality. Uh huh. Like, not bad at all, but I probably won't tell my friends about this one. Like, it's nothing special, it's just like a solid chicken sandwich. Yeah, they're they're known for their burgers, right? Yeah. Let's stick to that. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not getting any heat at all. What can I say? I'm a man. Yeah, that's impressive, because like I can definitely at least feel that, that it's there. It's not hurting I'm me. I'm getting none. Wow. Literally none. Look, I need to put some scratch on it or something. Yeah, because it's like, it's definitely there. Well, it's definitely not on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to, I know this isn't like, a, there's no drive throughs at these Shake Shacks. So it's really not like the same thing as like a Burger King or a Wendy's. But Burger King and Wendy's like chicken sandwich, I mean Popeye's chicken sandwich is half the price of this. And I think I prefer that to this. I'm surprised at, that it's even a question. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I, I sounded like I, I was know in <laughs> yeah, yeah. I prefer it to this. Mm -hmm. Like by a degree that is unfathomable to these folks. Yeah. This is not even close. We also did a hot honey. Popeye's chicken sandwich. They did like a variant, and that was still four dollars or like four fifty. Look at that! So unbelievable. It's oh, I can get a little heat at the end. I wonder if I found like a hot pocket of the sauce. You I did. wonder if my paws got, sauce got put in one corner. <laughs> it might have, because mine was all there over. There we that go. Thing. Yeah, no, I got you now. That may have. Maybe mine was a little lazily built. I think so. Or gravity pulled it in a particular direction. I think it did because. I will say that the habanero mayo was really tasty and had a good heat to me, but that was really like the only thing I'll remember from that. Yeah, yeah. I've been saying this a lot lately. I would rather have like that sauce on the side and dip stuff in it. Like I don't, like that's like, that Which sauce- Which does come with the fries. They do have the fries yeah, option. Yeah, I bet so. I would probably even like that. Like just dipping yeah. fries in a side You need it on every bite. Every yeah, bite. Every bite, I totally agree. Yeah, and that's just a sauce like, I've been using that spicy truff mayo as a dipping, like a side card and stuff. And that's I've just really, I've been really enjoying that. And I think that sauce would be a better a country, accompaniment than a, than a star. Yeah, I've been putting that hot mayo mm -hmm. on my burgers and it gets lost in the burger. I'm not even really getting it. And I've been like, mm. oh, I need to use this to dip my fries rather than put yeah. it on the burger. Mm -hmm. So I'm also putting garlic aioli and it's just like, Absolutely. yeah, it's gotta be the star. It I, can't be that side, that side. Sidetrack move. Right. If you guys have been following along with my vlogs, I got a new one out. I'm caught up. Art on the Mart. Art on the 
Walmart's sick. Mm -hmm. It's this big giant projection downtown and the like filming it and then speeding it up was like a really dope thing to do. I didn't yeah. know how cool it was gonna be, mm -hmm. but it was super dope and sick. That's so crazy. you should check it out. Also, before we go ahead and uh, rate this thing and do a shout out, guys, can you give this video a like? Oh, please like the video, that'd be super awesome. Really help, you know, we're, uh, we've been doing the food review game for a while now and those likes do go a long way. So go a long way for us by making one tiny little click. And if you're looking to comment, let me give you a little thing that you can comment about. I'm curious as to what people's favorite Shake Shack menu item is. Yeah, I would like to know that too. I feel like if it's not the double burger, then they have a different opinion than you. And, and, and you're wrong. <laughs> Before we go ahead and rate it, like I said, let's also now do a shout out and give some love to some some other stuff. <laughs> Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Patreon. It's the best way that you can help us continue our glorious job of reviewing food and making sure that we can keep a roof over our heads and not have to quit doing this fun little thing we like to call number six with cheese. <laughs> go on to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. You can see the different tiers where we give you guys cool things like uh, access to hanging out with us once a month on a Zoom call, video content early, early access to shirts in exchange for some of your hard-earned dollars which really really stretch and go a long way in allowing us to order all the awesome food that we use to review on this show and anybody that guy go go ahead sir get out of here and anybody who supports us on patreon we just couldn't love them enough and we will always 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 give them a shout out so here's a couple people who have recently donated to our patreon page patreon shout out name number one goes to the legendary Tom Keller <laughs> Sounds one of my good friends from back in the Michigan State days has just become one of the best people to be around, both on the phone, on the fo on the computer, or in person. He's just a blast all the time. Uh, he went from five dollars up to he, he not only he did the ten technically, but he paid for the entire year up front for one hundred and eight dollars. He saved money, and then we got all that money right up front. That's an amazing way to do it. So Tom, thank you so much. Can't wait to see you again very very soon. And I love you. And Patreon shout out number two goes Mr. Damian Wilson. Damien uh, also did the $10 tier. We appreciate you so much. That gives you access to uh, not only our early content, but also you get to hang out with us on our Zoom calls. So you should pop on to one of those. They're super, super fun. Once a month we get together with a number of Patreon folks and just chat for a while and have some beers. Always a great time and it really does go a long way to help support us. Uh, if you guys are looking to do that, once again, that is patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. All right, uh, time to rate it. Out of five, sure, Winnie the Poohs. You liked honey. They wrote that as his character, so, you know, it's fair. Out of five Winnie the Poohs, how many Winnie the Poohs do you get the hot honey chicken sandwich from Shake Shack, $7.79 each, Corey? Uh, let's see, I think it was pretty good, not great. Um, if you're really into trying that or you're a really big Shake Shack guy, like, yeah, I'm not going to tell you not to try it. It's not like it's bad or anything like that. Uh, I wouldn't say that you, like, it's a must try, though, for those people who are, like, kind of on the fence about it. Um... Yeah, price is okay. A little bit of heat at the end. If they made it better, I bet you'd be a little bit better. I'll go with a, I'll go with a 2.7. A little bit above average. Yeah, I'm not much higher. I think I would rather have the Popeyes. I'd rather have the KFC, and I'd rather have the Burger King chicken sandwich. To charge almost eight dollars for that, you, the flavor or like the amount of food you get has to be so high to me for me to not just get a fast food one. I, you can get two Popeyes chicken sandwich. I mean, it's insane. So um, it was still like tasty. I just probably will never get that again. Um, All valid points. 3.0. Wow. Still like, I mean, still Shake Shack. They make a great product. It's just, calm down. Uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, we're headed to Cafe Cito to try some Cuban press sandwiches. Very excited for that. So come on back. New episode every weekday. Thanks for supporting. Go snag that new jump cut shirt to keep this roof our heads. Uh, I forgot one of the letters of the word over there. Let's get out of here. Bye.